Let's go over the mechanism of the multi-step synthesis. The first part is the synthesis of salicylic acid. Salicylic acid is synthesized from methyl salicylate. This is methyl salicylate. It is also called the oil of wintergreen because it is obtained from a type of plants called wintergreen plants. When you treat this methyl salicylate with sodium hydroxide, the first thing that happens is the phenolic proton will be removed. Here's the acidic proton, right? The most acidic proton will be removed by sodium hydroxide and you get the oxide anion. In the next step, the hydroxide will come back and act as a nucleophile. In the first step of this mechanism, hydroxide was a base. Now, in the second step, the hydroxide is a nucleophile. It's going to attack this electrophilic carbon, the carbonyl or acyl carbon. It's an electrophilic carbon. And this, this step is called a nucleophilic acyl substitution. Hydroxide attacking the acyl electrophilic carbon. As, as a result, you will get a negative charge on the top oxygen. So here's the oxygen on the top. We go one step back. Okay, here's the oxygen. You'll get a negative charge on that oxygen. Now this is a dianion. You have two negative charges in a single compound. So it's a dianionic compound. And in the next step, the negative charge on, on the top oxygen will go back and reform the pi bond that you just lost. When you reform the pi bond, the leaving group, which is the methoxide, will be kicked off from the carbon, and the, metho and the methoxide will come back. will remove a proton from this carboxylic acid. Right. You'll form another dianion. You have a negative charge on two oxygens. Right. So here, methoxide is a base. It was a leaving group here. It came back as a base, removed the proton. It becomes a methanol now. It's not shown here. Uh, let me write. It's loss of methanol. Right. And after this, you would add sulfuric acid. In the laboratory, I'm going to show you that uh, that you're adding. 8 molar sulfuric acid that will be enough to protonate both oxygens, both oxide anions. All right, so you'll get protons on both oxygens. This is the final product of the first step. Not the, not the aspirin final product, but this is the product of the synthesis of salicylic acid. All right, we'll stop here.